Hi guys, making a steel is actually just like making a coffee. How? I will explain you the whole process of how steel is manufactured using the same principle of how coffee is made. To understand how steel is made and how different variations of steel are made if I explain you with the example of how we make a coffee. Right, so let's get started. In my last video, I explained how iron is extracted from iron ore and we make a pig iron which is the primary steel making process. Now once we have the pig iron, we will move on to the next stage which is called the secondary steel making stage. So when we get a pig iron, it is actually a very impure form of iron. So we get it further refined to get a good quality of steel. Even after extensive filtration processes inside the blast furnace, you still have some impurities of sulfur, phosphorus and manganese and some carbon inside the pig iron. So the question here is why can't we use just a normal steel that we derive which is a pig iron straight from the blast furnace into the use of day-to-day -day life. I'm surprised to know there are more than 100 variants of steel just based on different combinations and different composition that is required by the different industry standard. For example stainless steel which looks extremely bright is used in outside and architectural activities and sometimes into surgical equipment. On the other hand, black steel, which is a mild steel, which is used in the construction industry and some other industry applications where we don't require that quality of steel. So it all bases on what you need and how you need. To give you an example of this, imagine you going to a nice coffee shop in the morning. So what will happen when you go to the coffee shop? You will have numerous options for you to choose a coffee from. You can choose cappuccino, you can choose flat white, you can choose mocha, you can choose uh, English breakfast tea. How you choose the coffee, it's exactly similar of how you choose a steel. You just need to know what is the requirement of the project. How you have cocoa and milk are the basic ingredients, but then you mix up with different temperature and in different ratio to get your desired drink in the cafe. Exactly like that, then you further refine pig iron into different standard of steel, for example, stainless steel, mild steel. So you can think of steel making is like a recipe to make the perfect food. The only difference is in steel industry, the ingredients are called the alloying element. So the main elements that affect the property of iron are carbon, sulfur, manganese, uh, phosphorus, chromium, molybdenum, nickel, and so on. Out of all that, carbon is the most important alloying element in the steel. So carbon adds hardness and tensile strength to the structure. Now you have an idea about how all these elements work. Now let's understand how they get added into a steel to make the perfect mixture. All the magic happens in the furnace called ladle furnace, or in a very common way, it is known as LMF which is ladle metallurgical furnace. So ladle furnace is nothing but a furnace where steel is heated to 1700 degrees Celsius with the help of electro. This furnace is used to further refine the steel after getting a big iron from the blast furnace. When steel is hot, we use iron gases which is a non-reactive gas into the ladle furnace to create bubbles into the molten metal. It is just like how you create bubbles in a water using a straw. It helps mixture to get mixed up and get release the gases inside the steel to the atmosphere. On one side, all these bubbles are forming and the, on the other side, there's a slow and steady, the alloying elements are added into this furnace. So with those bubbles, those alloying elements get mixed up properly with the furnace and with the steel. All these processes are controlled by the computers and control panels to monitor the quality and quantity of alloying element that is getting into the furnace. So this furnace has a small opening on the side where sample is taken and checked into the labs to check if we have the correct composition of the steel or not. Based on the result of the labs, we further decide if we want to add the element or we want to add the steel to make the mixture in the proper format. Once we get the desired composition of a steel, we move the ladle furnace to a foundry shop where the molten steel is poured into a funnel where you get it uh, into a different shapes that is required 
for the industry standard. Let's say this company has a still manufacturing order for sheets. So what they will do is they will produce a large slab of steel or molten steel into the casting furnace. What this will do is it will give a shape of square where it will be further sent for a proper cooling down method. There is a diagram called TTT, time, temperature and transformation. When it gets cooled down, the properties of steel varies a lot based on the method of how you cool that down. So this is one of the methods that I will explain you in one of my other video. But let's understand you cool down in a proper way and you will get a good rectangle shapes from the casting furnace. Let me know if you like this video. Please comment and tell me on what topic you want me to make a video next. I will try to make good and simple video for you next.